So I watched the 1967 unofficial James Bond movie, Casino Royale. And this movie went from really goofy to really boring, back to goofy again. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to give you my review of the 1967 unofficial James Bond movie, Casino Royale. If you want to check out my review of the previous five James Bond movies, I'll have a playlist where you can click on that and go check those reviews out. And also before I get into this review, I want to give a thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel and helped me reach my goal of 200 subscribers. I'm now at 205 and now I'm hoping to reach 250 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed or new here, be sure to subscribe and help me grow my channel and reach 250 subscribers. Now with that out of the way, let's get into this review. So as I mentioned, this movie came out in 1967 and it's an unofficial Bond movie. It's more of a parody of James Bond. And this movie was directed by five different people and stars like every famous person from this time. It's It's got a lot of big actors in this. It's even got Orson Welles. It's got Bill Holden. David Niven's the main James Bond. They got it's like several James Bonds in this movie. But David Niven is the main one. He's an older Bond who is retired, but he's called back into the action. And how they got him back into action was really ridiculous, but that about sums up this movie. So you probably figured out by now that I did not like this movie. I thought this movie was terrible. And going into it, I knew it was a parody. I watched the trailer for it and it was very obvious this was going to be a parody and not a very serious movie. And so I went in knowing that. But for me, I've not watched too many movies that are like parodies. But I find usually, I think they work better as a short YouTube video rather than a feature length movie. And this movie was like 2 hours and 11 minutes which was longer than quite a few of the previous official James Bond movies. And yeah, I thought that was too long for a parody. And there were definitely moments when you could see them being a parody of James Bond, poking fun of some of the tropes of the Bond franchise at that point. But there were also times when it felt like it was just being a parody of any sort of spy movie. Because it, after a while, it just felt like it just went way too far like some of the parody could work but they just went too far too goofy with it like 99 percent of the stuff wasn't funny for me i just yeah it just wasn't working for me and i mentioned this movie is directed by five different people and at times you could tell because you'd be in one scene and then it would, or a sequence and it would jump to another one and you're like how did we get here? What's going on here? It just did not flow well. So I felt like I got just different people handling different sections. And even the middle part of the movie felt like a different movie. In my opening of this video, I said it went from goofy to boring to goofy again. And the middle part of this movie I found very boring. And part of that was for all the stuff the movie does not so well in my opinion. I will say I thought David Nivens as James Bond in this, while a parody of James Bond, he had a very likable presence, I thought. He held my attention. He he was just he was good. He was probably the best part of this movie. And watching him made his scenes watchable. He did a good job. And in the middle section of this movie, he's not in it very much. It's focused on other people because he has this plan that doesn't really make much sense where he's drawn out of retirement and how he's drawn out of retirement is ridiculous. Um, but he comes out of retirement. He's now sort of the head of the MI6, MI5. And he's not really out in the field, although he does get out in the field a bit. But he's having other trainee agents going in as James Bond or 007. So I guess people didn't know who he was even though other parts of the movie it's pretty clear they knew who the actual James Bond was it yeah it was just weird and that middle part it was really it did not hold my attention very much so I may have been missing stuff because it got really boring the rest of it was just too goofy for my liking usually the goofier parts had 
David Nivens and it was at least watchable because he just had a, a likable presence on screen. This movie is very loosely based off the Casino Royale story. But yeah, it's the first part of the movie. They definitely have parts where they're making fun of James Bond tropes. And then the final act, I thought, brought it back to feeling more like a parody of James Bond, but the middle section just felt like it was a parody of any sort of spy movie to me. And it just wasn't interesting. It wasn't funny. It was just like, oh, yeah, we're doing this. Oh, yeah, there's a joke that's not funny at all. That's sort of how I felt. And at the start, it was just really really goofy at the start like I, I, part of the time I was like what's going on like it was so goofy I wasn't sure what was actually going on and then like the middle part comes it's boring and the third act comes and that's sort of when Woody Allen really comes into this movie and it just gets even more ridiculous I'm like okay I know I'm not supposed to take this movie seriously but it was just they went too far with it like there are times when movies can be very goofy or just silly like they're just don't really make any sense but they do it really well like an example for me would be a lot of the monty python stuff especially monty python and the holy grail absolutely love that movie it's a movie that just <clears throat> kind of stupid but it's done in a very like smart way that it's really funny this was just stupid and i was just like what is going on this like I, said, I don't think it was you know it meant to take it this seriously but it was just it's hard when it really didn't for me did not succeed in what it was trying to do again i think having five directors did not help because i'm sure some of them had different ideas for certain parts and definitely different parts of this movie felt like they belonged in the, a different movie but Hey, they managed to get a whole lot of talent on screen with David Nivens, uh, I mentioned Orson Welles, uh, Bill Holden. They had a lot of really good actors. They even had, I can't remember the actress's name, but she was the original Bond woman from Dr. No. Uh, the character's name is Honey Ryder. I can't remember the actress's name, but she was in this sort of as sort of one of the Bond women in this movie. So that was kind of neat, I guess. Yeah, that's about it it was just ridiculous and yeah at least i can say i've seen it i've seen all the official bomb movies plus one other unofficial one never say never again when well, i've seen this one yeah it uh, it makes die another day look like a very serious movie anyway i'm gonna give the 1967 version of casino royale a 30 percent i thought it was terrible but if you have seen this movie, let me know what you thought of it. Maybe the goofiness worked for you. It was just too much for me. So let me know. And again, if you're new here, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Help me reach 250 subscribers. And stay tuned for some of my upcoming reviews. I'm hoping to watch The Gray Man tomorrow night. So hopefully have a review up for that in a day or two. And soon I should have a review out for Season 3 of Stranger Things. So stay tuned for those. And until my next review, take care everybody.